Right now in biology labs, researchers are wasting hours every single day doing manual work. That AI should handle annotating cell types from sequencing data, designing guide RNAs for CRISPR, looking up variant databases, drawing pathway diagrams. I found an AI agent that automates all of it and it actually understands the biology. Let me prove it. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. This is SciSpace Biomed Agent, a specialized AI built for biomedical science. It's integrated with 150 plus biomedical software tools and searches across 100 plus databases, including PubMed, ClinVar, NAMAD, and BioRxiv. Unlike general AI assistants, this agent is trained on biological concepts. It understands genes, proteins, pathways, diseases. It can analyze your omics data, design experiments, interpret clinical results, and create scientific figures. SciSpace Agent handles all research disciplines. Biomed Agent specializes in life sciences, molecular biology, genomics, drug discovery, clinical research. Go to SciSpace.com slash biomedical via the link below. Sign up. Using Google for instant access. Continue with Google. Select account. Complete. Dashboard interface. Top navigation shows two modes. All for general research. Biomedical for specialized workflows. Select biomedical. Main prompt field center screen. Below that, startup templates and biomedical agents with pre-built workflows for common tasks. Let's run some real biomedical workflows. Starting with single-cell RNA sequence, something that normally requires bioinformatics expertise, and multiple tools. This is asking for complete computational analysis from raw data to annotated cell types. Enter. Agent processing. Results complete. This is expert-level bioinformatics output. The agent generated an execution plan first, showing its analytical workflow, low data quality, filtering, normalization, dimensionality reduction, clustering, marker identification, cell type, annotation, visualization, exactly how a trained analyst would approach this. UMAP plot shows clearly separated clusters with distinct cell populations. Color coding is clean and professional. Each cluster is correctly annotated beta cells, insulin expressing, alpha cells, glucagon expressing, delta cells, somatostatin expressing, gamma cells, pancreatic, polypeptide expressing. The annotation is based on canonical marker gene expression patterns. Quality control metrics show filtering thresholds, minimum 200 genes per cell, maximum 10%. Mitochondrial content, doublet removal. These are scientifically appropriate cutoffs following. Best practices. Marker gene tables list the top differentially expressed genes per cluster with adjusted p-values, log fold changes, and expression percentages. This data is ready for supplementary tables in a manuscript. Download includes process data files, high-resolution plots, and even the analysis code for reproducibility. Next test. Wet lab protocol design. I'll use the pre built template. Scroll down, click cloning. Protocol design under biomedical agents. This asks for complete molecular biology workflow design. Agent executing. This is lab bench ready protocol. Primer sequences provided with exact sequences. Melting temperatures TM58 to 62 degrees Celsius optimal. Range GC content 50 to 55% and restriction sites engineered into the primers EcoRI 5 foot and BAMHI 3 foot 4 directional cloning. These primers are optimized, no hairpins, no primer dimers. Vector recommendation is specific. A molecular biologist could follow this protocol directly. Export as PDF for lab notebook. Now scientific illustration, specifically pathway diagrams. This is a complex signaling cascade that's tedious to draw manually. Agent Generating Illustration, Exceptional Pathway Diagram, Journal Quality Output, 
The canonical pathway is shown on the left with TNF receptor activation leading to IKK complex. The IKK-mediated IB phosphorylation and subsequent proteosomal degradation is depicted with clear molecular transitions. Each step is molecularly accurate with appropriate intermediate states shown. Target genes are illustrated at the bottom with proper chromatin context showing kappa B binding sites on promoters, maintaining clear visual hierarchy. Final capability, biomedical literature analysis across databases. This requires searching PubMed, clinicaltrials.gov, and biomedical preprint servers, then synthesizing findings. Agent searching databases and analyzing. Comprehensive literature synthesis generated. The report opens with recent clinical trial results. Phase 1 of 2 trials using adenine base editors to correct the sickle cell mutation, HBBE6V, showed 90% plus fetal hemoglobin reactivation in treated patients with sustained red blood cell sickling reduction at 12 month follow up. Specific trial identifiers, NCT numbers, are cited for verification. Preclinical efficacy section summarizes mouse model studies and ex vivo human HSC editing. Data, noting, base editing achieved 60 to 80% correction efficiency without double strand breaks, reducing genotoxicity risk compared to Cas9 nuclease approaches. Safety profile analysis compares on target editing precision, greater than 99.9% .9 for base editors versus 60 to 70%. This synthesis pulls together 20-plus papers into a coherent, citation-backed research summary, perfect for grant background sections or review article foundations. SciSpace Biomed Agent 150-plus specialized tools, biomedical intelligence, omics analysis protocol, design, pathway illustrations, literature synthesis, all integrated, all from prompts. If this showed you how AI can accelerate your research, Hit like to help other scientists find it. Want more AI tools? Subscribe to Manu AGI. Thanks for watching.